Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial I'll show you three different ways of animating shapes along a path. Knowing how to do this saves you a lot of time in the animation process and gets you great results with little effort. Let's start with way number one, by creating two solids. The first one gets a fresh green color, the second one a shiny yellow one. Now let's add a round mask to the upper solid. Then we draw the path along which the yellow shape should move. Adjust it to give it a nice curve. Add a keyframe for the mask path. Copy and paste it into the position row of the upper layer. You can see that the position keyframes are automatically set. That's the basic principle you need to know. Now let's move on and make it a bit more interesting. Let's roll the shape on a line. This is my solution for doing that with solids. We delete the mask and this time draw a shape. Adjust it to give it some nice curves. Pretty, okay. Like before, we take the path of the shape, copy and paste it into the position row of the yellow shape. What you'll see now is that it moves all around the green shape, of course. To change that, we set a keyframe at the position where we want the move to begin and end. After that, we delete all the keyframes before the begin and after the end. Let's move the first keyframe to frame 0 and the last one to around 2 seconds. As the motion path is messed up a little, we have to readjust it. Alright. Let's set the last keyframe to Easy Ease In and adjust the speed graph. The shape slowly comes to an end and also starts slow, before it takes up speed. We want to change the direction of the move, so select all keyframes, then right click on one of them and select the keyframe assistant and click Time Reverse Keyframes. Now the shape starts slowly coming over that hill, then takes up speed and slowly rolls out again. Now we copy the mask. Select Subtract and expand it by around minus 12 frames. By parenting the mask path to the upper mask path, it follows the form of the upper mask, which is great. Now we move the whole shape down until the yellow shape is on top of it. That's it. Moving a shape along a path with solids and masks. Solution number two is using shape layers. Oh, I love shape layers, by the way. Let's grab the path tool and draw a line. We don't need the fill and give the stroke a dark color. Did you know, by double clicking on the ellipse tool, a shape is automatically created, centered in your comp. Now we have to get rid of the stroke and set the size to 200 pixels. Awesome. It's the same principle like before. We set a keyframe for the path, copy and paste it into the position row. There we go. The basic move is set. But now we want the shape to roll down that right curve again. We move to the end of the timeline and position the shape somewhere here and adjust the motion path. Then we open the graph editor and adjust the speed graph. Move the last keyframe down to zero and drag the handle to the left to let it roll out. Then we drag the first keyframe down and drag the handle to the right to let it start slow. Rolling up it needs to slow down as well, rolling back down too. Now we shift the middle keyframe a bit to the left to balance the speed a bit more. The first curve needs to be a bit higher than the second one, meaning it is faster at the beginning and slower when rolling back. Now we need to adjust the anchor point so that the shape sits on top of the line.
as we can see now, we have to adjust the rotation. At the beginning, it will be around minus 45 degrees. On top of the curve, it will be zero. Halfway down, it will be around 24 degrees. At the bottom, it will be zero again. And at the right end, it will be around minus 65 degrees. Back halfway up, it will be 24 degrees again. Now we open the graph editor and adjust the curves a little bit. Looks confusing as it's the curves of the position and rotation combined, as both rows are selected. You could also deselect the position row to see just the rotation curve. Let's see. Almost. We need to adjust the rotation a bit more. Okay, that'll do. Next, let's animate the line. We open the Add menu and select Trim Paths. At the beginning, both values will be zero. Shortly before the shape arrives at the right end, the end value of the line will be 100. Now we have to smooth that animation. Add Easy Ease In and adjust the curve in the graph editor. Awesome! The third way of animating a shape along a path is using trim paths. Same start, we draw a line. Make it nice. Don't need the fill. 8 pixels for the stroke and a nice blue color. Some more adjustments. Then we copy the layer, blow the stroke up to 50 pixels and add trim paths. We set the start value to 50% and the end value to 49.9%. Now we give it a round cap and there we have the round shape. All we need to do now is animate the offset of the shape. So let's set a keyframe for the start and the end. As the shape rolls back, we move the end keyframe more to the middle and set a new end keyframe somewhere here. Let's add Easy Ease In and adjust this curve. Slow start. Slow roll out. Slow start again. Slow roll out again. Let's have a look. Awesome. Now we move the path up a bit. and adjust it on the right side. Done guys! These are three different ways of animating shapes along a path. 
Thanks so much for watching guys, hope that was helpful. If you have any kind of questions, let me know in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And you all know that sharing is caring. I'd love to know how that tutorial inspired your work. Add the link in the comments below or tag me on Instagram. See you all next time, bye!